In a day when travel was uncommon and communication less than instantaneous, a few people became the translators of ideas of one area of the world to another. Most of America's initial understanding of existentialism is from Rollo May. May is an American who traveled to Europe, studied with Tillich, the existential theologian, and read widely while recovering from tuberculosis, including a three-year stint in a sanatorium. May combines Kierkegaard, Binswiger, and Heidegger's existentialism, but flavors it with a bit of American humanism. If you've read a lot of existential thinking, you might see some differences emerge. If you find these diversions troubling, blame it on ocean travel. Apparently some things get lost at sea. May emphasized the need for love and men's capacity to will. He sees love as an act of will. It is not the fluffy emotional experience of infatuation. It is the choice, over and over again, to act in the best interest of another. To love is to actively care. It is more than emotion. It comes from the core of our being. May identifies three types of love, eros, philia, and agape. Using these three Greek words for love, you can see the importance of love in our lives. Eros is the root of erotic or romantic love. It is also the need to unite with others. Philia, as in Philadelphia, is brotherly love. It's getting along with your neighbors. In contrast, agape love overrides all other loves. It is the unconditional positive regard of Rogers, or the divine love God has for humanity or the self-sacrificing love you have for your family. In any case, it is thoughtful love. Love is tremendously important because it fills the loneliness and emptiness of life. At some point we realize we are going to die, and that realization produces anxiety, an existential angst. May suggest that anxiety can be normal when it helps you grow, or neurotic when it traps you in indecision or ineffective coping. To counter our existential angst, we must choose to love. We must use our will to actively choose the best of the possibilities before us. By our active choice, we can emerge from the background. We can stand out as beings that not only have life, but have good life. Existentialism isn't about existence. It's more than physical life. An existential life is about essence or being. Existence kicks things off, but it is your responsibility to turn it into more than just getting by. Emerging doesn't come without effort. We must actively participate in the game of life. Life is not a spectator sport. We must be active players. Participation includes being genuine and authentic. No imitation essence allowed. Existentialism is not about looking honest. You must also be honest. The honest, authentic pursuit of being is the result of our internal emptiness. This emptiness causes stress and anxiety. Although anxiety is an inevitable human condition, it is cued by a threat to some value you hold dear. If it's not important to you, you wouldn't be anxious about it. So anxiety shows us what we value and what we are afraid to lose. What we must lose is our reliance on traditional values. We can't lean on or reaffirm traditional values. We must affirm a new set of values, our values. We must create the values that shape our lives, not borrow them from others. Discovering self is actually more a rediscovery process. May would not want to say that you don't currently have a self, but rediscovery emphasizes that the process is not automatic. Discovery comes at the risk of some anxiety and the threat of an internal crisis. After all, we are born into a social context and highly impacted by our interpersonal relationships. But we must move beyond those influences to discover who we are. For Rollo May, psychology must be encapsulated in a broader framework. We must see ourselves in the light of our assumptions about reality, integrity, and what it means to be human. We must center ourselves, use our power of will to choose what we shall become, and rediscover ourselves and our feelings. When we know our intentions, we can live to our highest values, care for others, and actively love. The process begins with self-awareness and the active deployment of will. There's some things about ourselves and our lives that we can't change. May calls this our destiny. We must accept our limitations. But we are more than limitations. We are also possibilities. We can choose courage by facing our anxiety head-on. We have to balance love and will. 
All will and no love makes us empty perfectionists. All love and no will results in infantile inactivity and the belief that everything should come to you. True creativity is the combination of love and will. Existentialism emphasizes the possibilities of life, what we can become, what we wish we were. Will is the ability to make our wishes come true.